Hey Bobcat Nation, do you want to see what life is like at Quinnipiac University as a first year? I'll show you how I adjusted and give you tips on how you can too on this Quinnipiac Day in the Life. Hi everyone, my name is Evan Chen. I'm a first year health science major, also minoring in biology, and I'm from East Brookfield, Massachusetts. So coming out to Quinnipiac in the fall, I was very nervous about making friends and ultimately finding my place on campus because I knew no one here and this was an entirely new environment for me. So I found that the best way to make friends and meet people was through being involved. I'm part of the Asian Student Alliance, the Brie PA Club, and also the Honors Program. These clubs and organizations have helped me get used to life on campus. My first class for today is my Drama 101 class which is an introduction to theater. The class is at the Theater Arts Center, which is on Sherman Avenue. So in order to get there, I'm gonna hop on the shuttle and I'll see you there. Just got to my class. And today we're gonna to be presenting our dialogue assignments where we read our scripts that we made. So hopefully you don't judge my acting too hard. I was swimming in the ocean. Now you might be wondering, why did I take a theater class if I'm a health science major? Well, as part of the health science curriculum, I'm actually required to take a fine arts course. So I decided, why not theater? Initially, I was very skeptical because I had no theater experience whatsoever. I knew nothing about it. Over time, it's become one of my favorite classes this semester. Professor Redshop, she makes everything so much fun. She makes us do little theater games with each other, and that really helps all the students get to know each other. So I guess the main takeaway from this is try something new. Since I'm all done with my drama class, I'm gonna hop on the shuttle and go back to main campus. I'm gonna go grab some lunch for the calf, and then I'm gonna go head back to my dorm and get outside with one of my sweet mates. So I'm at lunch right now with two of my sweet mates. We have Tom right here. He's been a sweet mate of mine since the fall semester. And then we also have Emery right here. He recently joined us this spring semester. So coming out of the campus, I was very nervous about meeting my new sweet mates. They were all complete strangers to me. Over time, we got to know each other, we found some of the interests, and we kind of bonded over that. A piece of advice that I would recommend for meeting your new sweet mates would be to go to um, little things with each other. Maybe go get dinner together, lunch, uh, go to some events on campus. Doing all these things will help strengthen your relationship with your sweet mates. And because of how close I've gotten with my sweet mates this year, we're actually going to be rooming together again next year. Right now, I'm headed to my next class, which is my Chemistry 111 lecture course. As a health science major, I'm required to take a couple semesters of biology, chemistry. So these are really like the general course load for most health science majors. Okay, so to convert case of A from benzoic acid to case of B benzoic, just finished my chemistry class. We just learned about acids and bases. What I really like about the curriculum for the chemistry course is that the chemistry 111 lecture and lab courses line up pretty well because what you learn in lecture is actually what you do in lab. I don't have a class for a couple hours, so I'm just gonna work on my assignments and pretty much just relax before my next class. A lot of my days consist of a lot of downtime between classes, which I really like because I can use this time to catch up on assignments or do whatever I want really, watch TV. And I think it's very important to take these breaks because you want to be doing work all day. And if you do do that, you'll definitely feel the mental burnout, which I did when I first got here because I didn't pace myself. I thought I could get all my work done, which is not the case because you cannot do all of your work in one day. And coming to college, I was not the most organized person. In high school, I never used a planner or an agenda. I never kept track of anything, really. Once I got to Quinnipiac, I realized that's a lot different from high school. How I keep organized is I actually have a planner now. I use Cool Calendar, and I write down all my classes. And then I also have a checklist too. And this checklist, I pretty much just list all my assignments and their due dates. And it really helps keep me organized because I know when stuff is due and I can properly manage my time. Now I'm off to my next class, which is my introduction to healthcare class. And what I really like about this class is that it's directly related to my major. Professor Fisher likes to bring in guest speakers and they give us a lot of information 
about their experiences of applying to graduate programs and their experiences in healthcare professions as well. And luckily we actually have a speaker coming in today to talk about her graduate experience. I think OT's biggest strength and biggest weakness is that we can't define what it is in one sentence. And it, oftentimes it takes a lot of support to be able to describe what OT is because we do so much. So it was very interesting to hear about her experiences going to grad school and how she's graduating this year and entering her career as an occupational therapist. But now that I'm all done with classes, I'm gonna go to the library and finish up some work. I think it's very important to change up the scenery of where you do your work because honestly sitting at the same spot in my dorm all day is not very exciting and I often get distracted. So I use the Pomodoro method, which I learned from the Learning Commons after attending one of their workshops. So it's essentially you do work for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break. So maybe go on TikTok or something. That's increased my productivity levels, I feel more focused and find it easier to complete all of my work. I just finished my work for the day at the library. I'm gonna go to the cat because I am absolutely starving. So I just ran back in the pouring rain. I have my dinner right here. I have some chicken and some pasta. The cafe has expanded its options for food. There's new stations, there's grab and go options. So I really appreciate that. So after a long day, uh, me and my sweet mate Taj Yo. like to play some FIFA to relax from all the work we've been doing all day. Now I'm gonna hop on the pre-PA club meeting. The pre-PA club likes to hold weekly meetings where we sometimes have speakers come in and talk about their experiences as a PA or some graduate students who come and talk about their experience at QU. And so the reason why I wanted to join this club in the first place was because when I visited the involvement fair, during the fall semester, I saw the pre-PA club and I eventually wanted to become a PA in the future. So I was like, I'll join this club and see what it has to offer. Attending these meetings, I get so many resources and knowledge about when I want to apply to graduate programs and I'm become a PA. What's really nice about these meetings is that they form a platform for other people who have some interest to come together and form relationships with another. All these clubs and organizations are just opportunities for you to meet new people. So I'd say my first year at Quinnipiac has been absolutely amazing. I've met so many new people, tried so many new things, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. If there's one thing to take away from today, I'd say get out of your comfort zone and get as involved as possible. Be sure to check out the other Quinnipiac Day in Life videos to see Quinnipiac for yourself. Go Bobcats!